Hello everyone and you're welcome to today's talk show and I still remain your show making made easy to tell old Ruli Mojibola and today we are going to be looking at convenient practices in business. Now I remember in the last two to three weeks we have been discussing how we can help our business to grow, what are the steps we need to take as a person. Now I want us to take it to a deeper level of how do I want to involve God? How do I position myself to allow God to actually help my business to grow? Sit back and I'm gonna be right back. So, the first question I'm sure you are already asking in your mind is what is convenient practice? Now, convenient practice is just a way of demonstrating obedience to God's word. Yes. It's a way of demonstrating obedience to God's word. Don't forget that there is no way we can actually walk alone. He created us. He knows who we are. He knows what we are going to be. So our obedience to him is what we call covenant practice. And don't forget that hearing the word of God, reading the word of God does not translate to obedience. So only those who do what he says, only those who do what his word says are those that enjoy blessings upon everything that they do. So today, before I go to those things that actually represent covenant practice, I want us to first of all look at what are the benefits of me practicing this covenant? What do I stand to gain? Why do you think I should get myself in this particular practice? Now, Let's go right into that. Now, the first thing it does is it actually positions you for supernatural blessing. Don't forget that even the Bible says it, that if you actually obey and serve him, you are going to actually spend your days in prosperity and you're going to spend your years in plenty. So as long as you actually engage this covenant practice that I'm actually going to be explaining to us, it will give you access. It will unleash over your business, over your household. It unleashes supernatural blessing. Now, the second thing it does, it does, it's that it exposes you to divine favor. I'm sure you remember when I was teaching us previously that if you position your business to be trustworthy, you just see somebody who strategic and just look at it and say, oh, I just like what you do. I just want to feel, I just, I just feel like helping you. And before you know it, you find yourself being favored. Now, I need you to know that there are so many people who are so hardworking, who are so trustworthy, and yet they are not enjoying divine favor. So the, your engagement with this covenant practice, when you and I do this that I'm going to be explaining to us, it will help us to be able to enjoy divine favor. Don't forget, my Bible tells me, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you. Now, I need to, under to understand that all of these that I'm saying are what you get to benefit by actually engaging in this covenant practice. Now, let's go to the third benefit of actually engaging in this covenant practice. Now, the third benefit of actually this practice is divine health. A life that is free of sickness and diseases. This practice will, will give you actually, we entitle and um, position you for a disease and sickness free life. I don't know the kind of probably sickness, whatever, generational, you know, or they say, oh, that's how it is in their blood. That's how it's happened in the family. Oh, the mommy had it. Oh, the sister had it. I want you to know that what I'm, what I'm going to be tell, talking to us about is what is going to actually salvage us from every form of sickness. Say, ah, it's because of the kind of job he does. That's why he's going through that. It's because of the kind of um, business he does. That's why they, when they grow up like that, that's not what used to happen. Their back used to pain them. Their neck used to pain them. I want you to know that this practice will actually do what? It will yank you off sickness. You will live a sickness and disease-free life. Hear what my Bible tells me. Serve the Lord your God. Serve the Lord your God. He said he's going to, bread you. He's going to bless your bread. Is going to bless your water. And above all things, he's going to take away sickness from you. 
So if you, you want to live a, a sickness-free life, even as a businessman, as a businesswoman, even as an entrepreneur, this covenant practice is a must for you to, 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 to get yourself engaged in it. It's a must. And the last that I'll be talking about when it comes to the benefits of this covenant is long life. Long life. God's intention is that we should live and live the fullness of our days. He doesn't intend that one day they will just hear that, oh, he slept and he did not wake up. She slept and, and she did not wake up. Not me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now I need you to understand that all that I am telling us today are the benefits of covenant practice. If what you are intending to build is a kind of business that will be, you will be able to transfer, a generational blessing is what you are going to build. This is a must. Yes. When I mean it's a must, yes, it is actually a must. And now one thing I need you to do for me today is, if you're watching my channel for the first time and you have been able to enjoy it so much so that you are able to wait till now, I need you to know that every Thursday like this, we discuss how we can go our, grow our business. Not just shoemaking, we discuss majorly our business, we can grow our business and how we can create a transgenerational blessing. Not just, oh, I did business, I can't transfer it, I accumulate wealth, I cannot hand it over to the next generation, it is spent on sickness, it is spent on pain, it, those are the things we, we discuss like this on Thursday. So I need you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and also press the notification bell so that on Thursdays like this, probably you don't do shoemaking, but you love to grow your business. Then you need to actually press the um, notification bell so that each time I upload like that on Thursdays, you will be notified. And feel free to share this particular video. Make sure you like it. When you like it, other people to get to benefit from this kind of a video now i want you to also do this for me today please tell somebody about this thursday talk if it has actually been blessing you if you have a friend if you have a cousin if you have a niece and you think this will actually be of a great benefit to them i want you to please share this video with them now i am going to do this i want us to go over this particular video again go over it as many times as possible understand what you stand to gain by actually engaging in this covenant practice i am going to be discussing but then we will get to discuss this on our next talk show which will be by next week thursday by the grace of god if you have enjoyed today's talk indeed i want you to let me know in the comment section do you think it's actually important to engage in this practice if the benefits are as much as what i have listed or what i have talked about please let me know in the comment section and then let's see how we can continue and see what exactly are those things i need to do yes you have taught us the physical aspect then what what, what about the spiritual aspect of us expanding and growing our business it is generally known that blessing does not exceed three generations. Wealth cannot be transferred, you know, as much as it ought to. But when it comes to these practices, it helps us to be able to transfer our blessing because it is always said that the first generation will gather the wealth, the next generation spend it, and by the third generation, you can't even find it. But that's not who we are, and that's not what we are building on this channel. What we are building is a, is a blessing that will last forever and ever. Yes, and I know it is very possible. So thank you once again for joining me today, and I still remain your shoe making made easy to talk. Oh, do rolling, God bless you, and have a wonderful day. Bye.